I'm sure in the morning it's meant to be getting brighter now, but um, yeah, it's not. Although, wait a minute, this is the wrong channel. <laughs> Hello, it's Love John Lovell here. I've just abused Simon's camera. I'm a voiceover, and I voiceover every day, and that's what I'm doing right now on Simon's channel. <laughs> Don't tell him, although he's going to see this when he edits it later. Edits it. I'm so drunk right now. I'm not drunk. I am, because I've nicked his camera. <laughs> it's half eleven in the morning. It's 5.30 somewhere. <laughs> Well, thank you, John, for ruining my whole life with your intro. <laughs> oh, you horrible person, you. <laughs> I'm over here. Hello. <laughs> Artistic filming. Anyway, how are you? Are you well today? I don't have to do the morning, because he's already done it. So, uh, what are you up to today? Much? Out and out? Me? I've got the most hectic, busy day ever. Don't you just love it when you go into work and somebody just plonks a load of work on your desk that you didn't realise was going to be there in the first place. It's always good, isn't it? So that's what I've got today. So I went to the gym this morning. Loads of work today. Gonna to have to skip gym at lunchtime, but not to worry because I've got training at the track later on this evening and then another gym session anyway. So three sessions in the day. I think that's probably enough. And I've just bought some bargains as well. So I'm gonna go and eat lots and fuel my body for training later. Right, see you in a bit. Right then, end of the day and time to go and do a track session. Found out this afternoon as well, had a phone call from the guys who sent me the petrol tank that didn't actually fit my car. They can't get one that does fit my car, but they can get me a brand new one, which is great, other than it's three times the price. I need to find some money somewhere. Gonna search down the back of the sofa when I get home, I think. Right, that was not fun. Two and a half minutes on, two minutes recovery and do it all again and there was eight reps. Needless to say I didn't manage them all but we are now going to go do a gym session so that's the plan now along with more three minute abs. You remember the three minute abs we did the other day? We're going to do it again. Brilliant. Oh what a proper little housewife I've got. Thank you. Five pounds. Five, okay five pounds for dinner that's fair enough. Everything seems to cost five pounds with you. Five pounds for the ironing, five pounds for cooking dinner. Okay well anyway, that's my dinner for tonight. It's a pie and salad. Oh yeah. And screaming television as well. Well, so far it is official. Nobody can find me a new fuel tank. Would you mind if I pinched the one off your car, honey? Would that be okay? Mm-hmm. Yeah? Could I, could I buy me a new one? No, I'm not buying you a new car. I'll just have your fuel tank. Um, anyway. Um, I've emailed a few companies now online who you email them the details of your car, they go around loads of scrapyards and try and find like um, fuel tanks for you. So far nobody has found anything and it's searching about 300 scrapyards so fingers crossed tomorrow uh, it will find something. If it doesn't then I'm going to have to buy a new tank. Great and that's about 220 quid just for the tank which is always good. So um, that does mean if I find the dirty little scrotes who did drill the holes in my fuel tank doing it to anybody else or just walking around by the back of the house I will feed them into my old fuel tank through the holes they drilled. Yes, indeed, I'm going to be that nasty. <laughs> right, anyway, time for a cup of tea. Okay, I think I've probably just heard the best line ever to come out of Big Brother. There's um, a couple of Playboy models in um, Celebrity Big Brother this year in the UK and I've never heard of them, don't know who they are but they're twins and they're in the house and stuff I think, is it Clarissa and something? I can't remember, Clarissa and something anyway, one of them, uh, she was dancing and somebody else pulled down her trousers and might have shown off her bottom a little bit and she wasn't happy about it went into the diary room and I kid ye not said I'm very shy about my body, I don't show it off for anybody. Let's go back to what I said at the very beginning. There's a Playboy model and she's in Big Brother House. But she's very shy about showing off her body and she doesn't show it off for anybody. Where do we go with this one then? <laughs> yeah, I thought I just had to share that with you because that's possibly the best contradiction line I have ever heard. That's it. I'm all baffed. I'm less smelly. And uh, that one in there <laughs> is already in bed and falling asleep <laughs> and hiding under the duvets in her teddy bear pyjamas. Oh.
bless her. Right, I will see you tomorrow. Don't have the bad books by. Have a good rest of your evening. Sweet dreams. And uh, yeah, anything else? Night night, sleep tight. Don't have the bad books by. Sweet dreams. That's about it, isn't it? I think so. Bye! You're watching Stop Jabbing On. Shut up, he's lugging here, stop jabbing on, like what up? He's from the UK and he's anything but boring, stop jabbing on, starts his day with a...